Hey everyone, so I'm gonna do this demo with the Urban Decay concealer and foundation. Um, I've done this before, but I'm refilming it because halfway through my video it was blurry. So I'm going to demo 10 and 11 foundation and dark neutral concealer. And I hope you guys like. I'm gonna use a new beauty blender. Well, it's not really new because I used it once before. I missed, I don't know where my pink. Beauty Blender one, I really feel like my sister came and jacked it, but you know, yeah. So I'm starting to actually use my Beauty Blenders I got from last year, IMAX, and I don't really like the white ones because I don't think they will ever be perfectly clean. The ring light is washing it out, but it's like brown spots on it and it's, it's driving me crazy. But anyway, I'm going to use the Naked Skin. This is number 11. This is a sample from Sephora. And that is number 10. So I'm going to take a pump of this and put it in here. And actually two pumps. I'm mixing it. And I'm just going to put it directly on my face. I've used the primer, the smoothing primer by Makeup Forever. And the... Um, Laura Mercier. Oh my God! If you gonna let me down, let me down, really. You don't get to let me down. Number eleven actually comes out a little bit ashy on me, and number ten looks a little bit pale. I actually prefer the uh, foundation number ten over eleven. Um, but let's see what will happen when I mix the two and let it oxidize. So I used Or Mercier um, foundation primer and I use Makeup Forever, I think step one, smoothing primer. My face is naturally dark than the rest of my body. So I don't, and my neck, my neck is like dark than both, darker than both and it's like I cannot match my foundation with my neck. I just have to like look on my chest and kind of work it out because my face is just not the color of my body. And I'm planning, I'm working on fixing the discoloration going on with my face so hopefully everything pans out. If you want you could bring it down to the neck. This is coming off grayish on the camera. But the thing with makeup, you could always add powder, contour, and you can fix the color of your foundation pretty much. Which I'm going to do. I still have leftover glue. I hate when that happens. So this is how 10 and 11 look on my skin tone. A MAC, uh, my MAC foundation is NW45 and I used Match Master 9.0. Which is a big difference between the two foundations because Match Master 9.0 is significantly a little bit deeper and darker than um, NW45 Studio Fix Fluid. But um, I like using Studio Fix Fluid because it's a little bit light when you apply it but it oxidizes and it matches well with me and I also add foundation and contour and all that stuff and it works perfectly. That's why that is my go-to foundation. Um, but 9.0 I love during the summer. So I have a scar up here. And basically, my skin, my brown skin peeled off and it was like white, so when it healed back, it was really dark, so it covered it a little bit. Um, I just, do with my daily makeup routine, I just add orange corrector and add extra foundation on that area, but that's a reference of how well this kind of uh, covers. I can compare this foundation to Makeup Forever. Uh, HD foundation. I don't have the ultra, I have the original. Um, I wear number 178 with the Makeup Forever foundation and it's kind of like it but this is um, I would say this is a little bit more runny. It feels like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing much but it actually with the naked skin um, it feels like I am like I do have makeup on but it's not crazy heavy but it does, maybe because I have like two primers on, my face is fully moisturized, but it doesn't feel heavy and cakey. Like compared to the Studio Fix Fluid, 
it does feel like I am wearing foundation but I don't really mind it because I have a cake face but um, this is similar to the Makeup Forever foundation in the way that um, the liquid is formed. Now I'm going to go in with the Naked Skin Dark Neutral Concealer. Oh, and let me not forget, I'm going to show a clip of when I originally filmed this, and I'm just wearing number 11 foundation. So you can see how number 11 by itself is pretty ashy. Um, it's similar to the combination of 10 and 11, but 10 and 11 combined together is much better than wearing number 11 by itself. So I'm just adding Dark Neutral a little bit. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend it out. I didn't want to over highlight like usual because this is not really my color. It's not covering much. This is why I love using an orange corrector. It does brighten, I'm not going to lie, but I wish that I was wearing orange corrector because it will really cancel out the darkness underneath my eye. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. Add a little bit more. You don't let me down, let me down gently, don't be there That you don't love me, I love you, water under the bridge oh, 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 oh. I love Adele's new album, it's... <sighs> so, underneath my eye is super highlighted I'm gonna try to spread it out a little but I don't want my whole face looking like this concealer, so I'm not going to go into the tube. So that is foundation, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 10 and 11 and Dark Neutral Concealer. I haven't said it yet, but this is how it looks. I'm not going to lie, this doesn't really perfectly match. I wouldn't go for this foundation if you're really dark skinned, but... Um, it doesn't, it'll probably, I feel like this foundation will work with other people of, of color, but it doesn't work for me particularly. It's not really working with my skin tone, but if you would want to get this foundation, you can make it work by adding uh, more coverage with a powder foundation um, and just contour and, you know, it will work. But as you can see, there's a difference between my face and my neck. Um, it's not too crazy, thankfully, but I can see the difference. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't really go for this foundation um, personally, but the formula is really good. Um, it glides on really nice, and it gives good coverage, so that's a plus. I'm going to go in and put on powder foundation, set underneath my eye, contour, and I'll be right back. So after I added my powder foundation, my skin is actually matching pretty well with my neck. As you can see, contour does a world of difference. Like, <laughs> I cannot go without doing contouring. Even if I'm doing like a natural makeup, I need contour. So I have here the High Color Lip Gloss by Urban Decay. It's bittersweet. Um, it's a purpley shade. I added two layers. Um, it's not overly sticky, which is a good thing. It's just that um, I thought it would be more opaque with the first, you know, layer. But um, yeah, it's a nice color. I like it. I want to talk about when I f originally wore this foundation, my first uh, filming, my first time filming this. I wore shade number 11 by itself. It was a little bit ashy. Um, I want to talk about the wear time. I wore it from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. And um, that's 12 hours, right? And it started breaking down in like around 1 p.m. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm extremely oily, but um, it started breaking down, especially when the foundation doesn't match you completely well. When foundation starts breaking down, it doesn't look pretty because you're having like two different colors on your face and it's looking patchy as heck, not cute. Um, but I would say that the formula is pretty nice. It's really smooth. It doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation. Um, but our face is really moisturized and I wore a bunch of primers so I could feel um, something because I'm wearing layers of other stuff on it. But the formula is really nice. It's comparable to uh, Makeup Forever. It's just that um, this um, foundation, Urban Decay foundation, it is a little bit runny um, but it gives great coverage. 
good coverage, not great coverage, because it didn't really cover everything that I had going on in my face unless I add an extra layer of foundation on. Um, I wore with this one here, I've, I was pretty much two and a half pumps of foundation I wore on my face. Um, but yeah, the wear time is not extremely long. Um, I wouldn't say it's a foundation you will wear like past 12 hours because um, especially for oily skin it doesn't last as well as I would like it to. So I do hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you happen to like it, be sure to like this video and subscribe and comment down below anything you want to tell me and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.